So I noticed from your tan, it reminds me that you're living in San Diego as opposed to Binspang. <laughs> Good move, right? <laughs> I like California. I spend uh, a lot of time in, uh, in Palm Springs too. And, uh, you know, I get to play a little golf out there, get to do some hiking and uh, just uh, get to enjoy life. Are you a happy girl? Yeah, very happy. <laughs> think of this golf course? I, I mean, I can't believe how <laughs> difficult the greens are. It doesn't seem unfair in any way, though, does it? I don't think it's unfair at all. Um, I think yesterday was just so difficult. We had those really strong winds, and just some of the pin positions were, they were just in such a difficult places, but because I think because of the winds, you know, a lot of the shots had to come in. You have to keep the ball a little lower in the wind, but where the pins were, you couldn't really keep the ball low because then you couldn't stop the ball. You actually had to hit some high shots to be able to, you know, get close to some of the holes. And I think the combination of, of that wind and the pins yesterday, it made it really, really hard. So, but I think on a day like today, you know, you had the perfect conditions and, you know, you saw the scores today are, are much, much better. And I mean, these kids, they're, they're great players. It's really impressive to be out there watching them. I mean, they, they hit some shots that that you, you can't really even imagine hitting, you know, I mean, they're, they're oh, really you good. you can imagine, I can imagine, you can imagine, you won the Open, so I mean, how can you not imagine? Nobody can if you can. Tell me about the kids on your team. Um, well, I got, um, obviously, the two, two girls, um, they go to school here in the U.S., um, one in California and one in uh, Louisiana. Um, I think they're both um, very good players. Um, you know, we uh, were here and I got some help from the, the Swedish golf team, so, you know, we tried to help them out, uh, maybe not so much, I mean, a little bit with their, with their swings, but more with the, the preparation and um, I, I, for me, I helped them a little bit, maybe with the short game, with the putting and maybe more the mental part of the game, you know, a little bit how to, to uh, think and kind of prepare yourself and kind of be ready for the different shots and so on. And, and the two boys, um, um, one boy, Robert, he's uh, in school in Virginia at Liberty, and um, um, he's a very, very good player, I think. I mean, he's already developed to be a phenomenal play. I mean, you can watch his game. He's, he, um, he hits the ball great. He keeps the ball in play the whole time. He has a great putting stroke. He's, um, he's come a long way, and he's already had some great tournaments. And um, um, our fourth uh, on our team is Victor, and he still uh, lives in Sweden. He's only 17, but he's going to be a really good player. He hits the ball a long way, and um, so far, you know, it goes a little bit out of control once in a while, but, you know, he's so young, and he's really learning uh, a lot about the game, I think. And, you know, you can see the comparison with someone who's 17 to 23, just the way they think and how they play the golf course and, and how they can um, uh, adjust to uh, the different yardages, you know, to, to have the, uh, the length control on their shots and so on. I think that's really important. That's something you learn from playing more and so on. And I think when he kind of gets to that time in his, uh, his life, you know, maybe in a, in a year or two when he starts learning how, you know, to, how to work the ball and how to hit all those little shots, he's, he's going to be a very, very good player.